Hi, and welcome to the first episode of D-Link TV q and I'm Mike, and I'm here with George. Hello. And we're going to be taking your questions and answering them for you. If you go to www.dlinktv.com, you can enter in your question, and we will take them and answer them for you. So today, we're going to be talking about router basics. Our first question comes from Steve in Dallas, Texas, and he asks, why would I want a router if I only own one PC? Why doesn't he just connect his router directly to the cable or DSL modem? That's a good question. You can indeed connect your computer directly to the cable modem or DSL modem, but one of the big advantages of having a router is the layer of protection it provides you between you and the internet. There are a lot of nasty things out there that you really rather keep away from your computer. And the nice thing about the router is it's designed to handle all that in hardware, so it doesn't slow down your computer while trying to protect you. Yeah, I think the, the latest news is that there's like, you can be on the internet for like 16 seconds before wow. you get some type of a malware or a Trojan or a virus or something like that. So adding that, that layer of protection between you and you know the evilness of the internet out there is, is a, definitely a good right. thing. And it's, a, it's really an investment in peace of mind. Plus it gives you the flexibility as you go forward. You may end up buying some other device, like say a print server or some network storage, you know, an external storage device. And you can plug those directly into your router because the routers come with multiple ports. Okay, well let's move on to our, our next question from Alex uh, in Boston, Massachusetts asks, what is network address translation or NAT and how does that help? NAT is one of the two primary methods that the router protects you from the bad things out there on the internet. What it does is it provides a private address to the devices inside your LAN behind the router separate from the public address that you get from your provider, say your cable company, your DSL company. And the neat thing about that is that says if somebody out there is trying to attack your computer, they can't even see it. All they can see is the router. So you're saying you would be like stopping the bad guys at your front gate rather than your front door. Right. Because they, they're going to see your public IP address at the router instead of it being at your computer, which is mm -hmm. what Steve was asking about. Right. And it also then allows you to do things like add additional devices down the line. You, know, you may not need it right now, but the capability is there. So you could see it as some type of a, a splitter, actually. It's going right, to split it exactly. into multiple private IP addresses right. rather than one public IP right, address. To help you share that interconne internet connection so you can have multiple things. Say you get a second computer down the line, then say your, your child is off doing whatever they need to do, you know, doing research for a school project the same time you're using the computer. Okay, very good. Let's move on to our next question. <coughs> it's from Jim in Seattle, Washington, is asking, what is staple packet inspection, or SPI, and how does that help? That's the second primary method that the router protects you from the bad things out there. What the router does is it actually monitors the traffic going in and out, and normally it's going to stop all incoming traffic unless you've requested it. So say you want to download your email, or you want to go and go to a web page or download a program, the router notices that you made a request going out, and so then it remembers and it lets that response come back, but not other things. And so, so the yeah. router is keeping track of whether or not you've given permission for some data to come into your network. Right. And if it, if it doesn't see that request from your PC, it's going to just drop those packets. Right. It just silently throws it away. And just like the network address translation, one of the really powerful things about it is they're both automatic. They're built into the router, and as soon as you plug it in and turn it on, it's there. You don't have to go and crawl through menus and set up complicated configuration. It just works. Automatic is always the best. It, is it just thing. works. That, that's the way to go. <laughs> so let's jump to our next question here. It's from Sharon in Phoenix, Arizona, and she's asking, what is the benefit of a wireless router if she doesn't ever plan on buying a laptop PC? Well, the wireless router provides all the same capabilities for protection that we talked about for the wired router, but in addition, you have the wireless capability. And even though you may not plan to buy anything new that has wireless in it, there's so many new devices coming out with wireless capabilities, like, say, a media player or even some Wi-Fi phones, and a lot of the new gaming stations even have wireless built in. I've so even seen uh, they have picture frames right. that, that they can use, that you can take the pictures that are on your PC and just have them show up on the wall mm -hmm. in this wireless picture frame. Right, and so if, if you're going to invest the money in a router right now, you might want to seriously consider getting a wireless router rather than being a year down the line and deciding, boy, I wish I had a wireless router, now you've got to buy a new one. Well, and it's because it's, it's more cost effective to buy an all-in-one with the, the right. wireless built into the router rather than to buy an access point later on down the line. Right. You're, you're having to buy two products instead yeah, of one. Yeah, because even if you don't end up buying a laptop down the line, you or one of your family members may end up coming up with a cool thing like a wireless picture frame or a gaming station that they want to do online gaming or yeah, something. Yeah, your son may want some type of a <laughs> handheld device that right. you know, uses wireless. There are a wireless. lot of really cool wireless toys out there. And it allows you to take advantage of some of the neat new technology coming down the line. Very cool. 
All right. Well, that's our first episode of uh, Dealing TV Q&A. If you do have a question, go ahead and go to www.dealingtv.com, and we'd be happy to answer them. Thanks, George. Thank you. Thank you.